So you're a perfect person to play Beverly because you both grew up in show business. Now, obviously, you had very different experience, but did you find any common ground? Um, you know, it's kind of weird. I feel like I actually didn't really find anything in common with Beverly in terms of her career, um, just because she didn't have any want to be there. You know, she just mm. didn't really want to be doing what she was doing, and she was being forced into it. and. Um, she could take it or leave it totally and that was kind of the opposite of my experience. It was always me that wanted to continue and, and um, really enjoyed myself. So no, I was, I actually when I was making it I wasn't even like thinking about that because it just felt so uh, different to, to what I had been through. And um, so yeah, it was, what was interesting was playing somebody who maybe was doing some of the same things that I do who didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think in the past, Hollywood would have told this from Errol Flynn's point of view. But why is it important to tell this story from the point of view of Beverly and her mother? Um, I think it's important because ultimately the person that was sort of left to almost like, that was just left to pick up all of the mess was Beverly. You know, she was like the most innocent really in the situation. The, she was very young and sort of got pushed into this and was then then enjoyed it and, and really did love Errol and had uh, from her description a very kind of normal relationship <laughs> with him and was very happy and then, you know, he dies and then her mother does all this crazy stuff and she's the one that's left to kind of deal with it all and and um and she wasn't really old enough to deal with all of that and uh, so i think that that was i think it's more it was it's more it was more interesting to tell it from kind of their perspective as opposed to as opposed to Errol's. I don't know. I mean, Errol is obviously a huge part of this and so much of it revolves around him, but it was it was cool to to look, have an outsider's point of view of who he was almost, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So Lifetime is famous for its movies uh, on the small screen, but this is their first big screen movie. Uh, how is it to get the call from them when they were interested in you uh, and also to be a part of the brand? Um, you know, for me, I, I wasn't a ton of, about that. I mean, from when I was approached to do it, I was, you know, I met with Richard and Wash and and just we're talking about the story and and that's what really kind of got me into it all, always in, in in any in any case it's for me about the character and the the people that you're kind of like working with day to day and the actors and and all of that so so yeah that was what excited me well, my final question for you is what's your favorite Errol Flynn movie and why oh god <laughs> um my favorite Errol Flynn movie well, I gotta say, I've I haven't seen the whole thing, but I've seen parts of Cuban Rebel Girls, which uh -huh. Beverly was in, and it is not my favorite film. But the clips that I've watched are so kind of mind blow. Like it's the whole it, it, you feel it's like a surreal experience watching it because it's just kind of so strange. Um, so it's definitely not my favorite film, but it is uh, a kind of interesting experience to watch some of it. Oh, great. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Thank you're you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.